here with my good friends, the Steel Blossoms, Sarah and Haley. I think that I met you first at the Mitch Music Hall of Fame. Yeah. Performing, and I was so in awe of your songwriting. <laughs> You were doing some songs for the kids that yeah. you wrote songs with. Well, we were living together at the time, and I remember she came home and she was like, you need to meet Anne. She's oh, amazing. She's been on tour with the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> <laughs> friends with her. Uh, but then I think we reconnected at a writer's round. Um, we're in Franklin's I think. Oh my gosh, you have a good oh, memory. Yeah. yeah. With Marissa McKay, right? Yeah. 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 And then that's when we actually became friends. That's yeah. when I wasn't your stalker any longer. <laughs> hey, I had a girl crush big time, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been so many years. Yeah. I had the idea for, for Afraid on my way home from the Country Music Hall of Fame, and I knew that we had a right set up, and I remember just thinking, I'm totally saving this idea for our right with me. Because you had said, oh, this would be perfect for her voice. Yeah. It's soulful, it's soft, it's really meaningful. I remember I came in and I was so excited to have a write with the Steel Blossoms and I was just planning to write a song for you guys and then you said, no, nah, we want to write for Wildwood today. And I felt like this song just like completely flowed. It did. You know, the, the entire process just really came out easily. We actually wrote this song on guitar. And I think yeah. I was playing that day, maybe. I'll never forget, you played that minor four chord, and my heart just, like, melted. It's my favorite melted. chord in the entire world. Oh, oh my gosh. I can. Oh, my gosh. It was so great. Yeah, and then when you decided to put piano on it, it just, that was really the glue that it needed. And it was great for me. I don't get to sing harmony very often, so, you know, when you said, hey, I'm going to record this, and then when you just on it, this is my chance. <laughs> and same for me, being a solo artist, it was so fun to get to be part of a trio. Because I think you usually do your own harmonies. Right? I do. I just stack one on top of the next, and there's yeah. no texture there. You know, you got to have more of a live feel on this one. Yeah, different parts. A dream debut performance for this for me would be the Ryman Auditorium. I was thinking this. I mean, the thing. three of us I don't on stage. Being cliche, but I was also thinking that maybe so. we need to bring the couch there too, just like this. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of plans for I mean, future collaboration. I like to say I'm the stepsister of the Still Blossoms, so maybe they'll have me on tour sometime. There are definitely <laughs> plans for margaritas, yes. and girls' nights, <laughs> and more songs to come. Yes. And some Christmas songs. Christmas yes. music. Yeah. The Wild Steel Blossoms. <laughs> the Wild Blossoms. Wild Blossoms. Wild That's kind of cute. <laughs> Did the song come out how you expected? The song came out better than I expected, and for me, it truly is a dream to work with you guys. Um, to be friends, but also collaborators, is like gotta be a career highlight for me. Oh, I same. the same thing. Same. We love you so much. This love was awesome. Guys. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you guys yeah, for amazing. being part of this.